Palantir. Let's discuss that. Um, you've seen some some moves there. It's certainly been a, some vol a volatile name and one people have been picking, but I think you're feeling and seeing some, uh, not feeling, but seeing some bearish activity. No, there's some bullish activity in bullish? here. Yeah. There's bullish, some bullish, okay. act, yeah, bullish activity in here also, Nicole. I mean, the stock's up what uh, nearly 50% so far this year, up 17% just in June alone. Growth captivating and potential. Argus research analyst Joseph Bonner has described Palantir Technology stock as highly volatile and priced at a premium. Despite this, he stands with a buy rating and a $29 target price, citing Palantir's uniqueness. Although Palantir is famous for its work with defense and intelligence agencies, Bonner sees its future growth coming mainly from its commercial ventures. He believes the company's commercial business will be the primary driver going forward. Like many software companies, he highlighted that Palantir is banking on new artificial intelligence-powered applications to boost its business. Palantir is now entering exciting new partnerships with Starlab Space and ARPAH, but will their stock's unpredictable nature prove to be worth the gamble? As of June 25th, 2024, Moomoo analysts have rated Palantir stock as hold. Palantir stock shows a neutral rating with a target price of $24. This means that analysts are, on average, expecting the stock price to stay around $24 in the near future. Keep in mind that analyst ratings are only part of the picture. It's crucial to research Palantir's financial health, industry trends, and market conditions. Do you think Palantir stock will break out of the $24 range, or will it stay stuck around this price? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this update helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more investing insights. Joseph Bonner pointed out Palantir's impressive 81% jump in adjusted operating profit in the first quarter, with margins expanding by nearly 12 percentage points. Management said the strong margin growth reflects the solid unit economics of Palantir's business, Bonner noted. The company is delivering what the market wants regarding margin expansion and profitability. Bonner praised Palantir's contract strategy, highlighting its preference for five-year client contracts, which help recognize revenue over time and reflect the complexity of its solutions. He also mentioned the company's flexibility, as seen in last year's consumption-based contract with the UK National Health Service. Despite Bonner's positive outlook, CFRA analyst Janice Quick took a more cautious stance, reiterating a hold rating. She recognized Palantir's artificial intelligence platform's success and its potential to drive double-digit growth. However, she cautioned about economic uncertainties that might dampen software spending across the industry. Customer additions, they're extending contracts. Palantir, they announced uh, a, a partnership with Starlab Space, the U.S. global joint venture across space, Airbus, Mitsubishi, among others, as a strategic partner. Now, this is going to be uh, a multi-year uh, partnership there. And then they were uh, awarded a $19 million contract uh, from Advanced Research Projects Agency for Health. Uh, to help them underpin business operations, enable continuous improvement using their AI models. On June 20th, Starlab Space, a commercial space station developer, announced a partnership with Palantir Technologies to use its artificial intelligence to enhance station operations. The financial details remain undisclosed, but this strategic teaming agreement mirrors Starlab's previous deal with Northrop Grumman. The collaboration will utilize Palantir software to create a digital twin, a virtual model of the Starlab station aimed at optimizing operations, detecting issues, and ensuring preventative maintenance. Starlab CEO Tim Copper said, Palantir's advanced artificial intelligence will revolutionize space station management. Palantir, typically focused on national security space projects, is now entering the commercial space sector. CEO Alex Karp expressed excitement for extending Palantir's capabilities to provide real-time intelligence globally and in space. Starlab Space, a joint venture between Voyager Space and Airbus Defense and Space, has recently received investments from Mitsubishi and MDA Space. In addition to its partnership with Palantir, Starlab collaborates with Hilton Hotels on design and aims to launch a commercial space station by the decade's end. This station, featuring a large habitation and lab module, is set to launch on SpaceX's Starship vehicle. NASA has funded Starlab, Axiom Space, and Blue Origin to develop future space stations. Other companies like Vast and Gravitics are also working on similar projects. Now, this company's long served the needs of U.S. defense, 
intelligence community, but they've expanded more into the commercial and public sector data management analytics platforms. So this has been one of those hot names uh, that's been uh, that the AI trade's taken hold of also. And we saw some more bullish activity in here today. Stock was up over 2% at one point earlier on in the session, uh, now down on the day, uh, but still having a pretty good year. Uh, but we did see some unusual option activity out in the July monthly cycle. So about 29 days to expiration. Traders bought over 7,000 of the July 27 strike calls. Palantir Technologies has landed a $19 million contract with the Advanced Research Projects Agency for Health, or ARPAH. The deal involves using Palantir's artificial intelligence platform and foundry software to strengthen the agency's data infrastructure. This agreement, which will be announced on Thursday, will help ARPAH track and manage the progress of its health research programs. ARPAH, established in 2022 to push forward groundbreaking health and biomedical research, will deploy Palantir software over the next two years. This will allow the agency to quickly gather, analyze, and make decisions from diverse data sources. It will enhance how ARPAH runs its programs, including fighting hospital cyber attacks, developing new cancer treatments, and advancing mobile health technology. Alastair Thompson, ARPAHS Acting Director of Data Innovation, said the agency aims to be deeply data-driven in its operations. To find what's revolutionary in health research, we need to understand the cutting edge, which starts with data, Thompson explained. He highlighted that ARPAHS new agency status allows it to be cloud-only from the start, and Palantir software was appealing because it could be quickly set up. First Jane, Palantir's head of public health, said the company is excited to support ARPAH in running its core operations more effectively. He emphasized that Palantir's software will provide the essential infrastructure for managing research programs and making effective research and development investments. Palantir's Foundry software will integrate and map various data sources into a unified view, while the artificial intelligence platform will leverage large language models to analyze existing data. This will help ARPAH make informed, data-driven decisions, ensuring that ineffective programs are stopped and new strategies are explored quickly. Thompson added that the insights from these tools will eventually be shared with the public to demonstrate ARPAHS effectiveness. The agency will also use artificial intelligence to synthesize related scientific publications and data, providing a broader perspective on their research areas. Palantir will also train ARPAH staff in data analytics to foster a data-centric culture within the agency. You can't be a learning organization without understanding your data, Thompson said, underscoring the importance of training and using data effectively. Moving forward, let's analyze Palantir's stock more. Palantir's return on assets has increased steadily over the past five quarters. The return on assets was 0.47% in the first quarter of 2023. It increased to 0.73% in the second quarter of 2023, 1.75% in the third quarter of 2023, 2.14% in the fourth quarter of 2023, and 2.26% in the first quarter of 2024. Moreover, the year-over-year -year growth of Palantir stock has increased steadily over the past five quarters. The year-over-year -year growth was positive at 380.93% in the first quarter of 2024. This means that Palantir's return on assets in the first quarter of 2024 was 380.93% higher than its return on assets in the first quarter of 2023. Overall, the information shows that Palantir's return on assets is increasing and that the company is becoming more profitable. However, it is important to note that return on assets is just one measure of profitability. Other factors to consider are a company's gross margin and net profit margin. It is also important to compare a company's return on assets to that of its competitors to see how it compares. On the other hand, return on equity, known as ROE, is a profitability ratio that measures how much profit a company generates from its shareholders' equity. It is calculated by dividing a company's net income by its total shareholders' equity. Palantir's return on equity has also increased steadily over the past five quarters. The ROE was 0.64% in the first quarter of 2023. It then increased to 0.99% in quarter 2 of 2023, 2.33% in quarter 3, 2.8% in quarter 4 of 2023, and 2.91% in the first quarter of 2024. Overall, the information shows that Palantir's return on equity is increasing and that the company is becoming more profitable for its shareholders. So that uh, break even of 28.05 over the next month, that's about 11% above the current share price in there with call volume about double normal daily average volume that we've seen over the last week of trading. And we've seen a lot of volume in Palantir 
over the last uh, w couple of weeks here in June as the stock's risen almost 18%. Talented Technologies has recently partnered with Starlab Space and ARPAH to leverage its advanced artificial intelligence technologies in commercial space operations and healthcare research. These ventures underscore Palantir's strategy to diversify beyond its traditional defense and intelligence sector roots, potentially opening new avenues for growth. Analysts like Joseph Bonner highlight Palantir's strong financial performance, with notable increases in adjusted operating profit and expanding margins. Despite these positives, CFRA analyst Janet Quick noted that concerns remain about the stock's volatility and economic uncertainties affecting software spending across industries. As Mumu analysts continue to evaluate Palantir stock with a neutral rating and a target price of $24, investors wonder whether the company can break out of this range. Will the company's strategic partnerships and improving financial metrics justify a buy in the face of market unpredictability? Share your insights in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like our hand-picked, action-packed newsletter about Palantir. Subscribe now at wiseinvesting.com. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know about Palantir stock, just click this video here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.